Sarah, I am so tired of all this cold weather. We live in Florida. I know, Ariam. We should be enjoying warm weather and sunshine all year round. If only there was a way to find out if winter was going to end soon. Wait, there is. Really? Actually, tomorrow is a special winter holiday. It is? What day would that be? Well, Isabel, one of our Hawk News reporters, is prepared to inform us about that very topic. Isabel, tell us, what day is it today? How fun is that? Wasn't Punxsutawney Phil just adorable? He sure was. Let's do some more research over there in the lab to find out more about this enjoyable day. Ariam, I really have a compassion for your need of warmer weather, and that's why I'm helping you. Aw, thanks, Sarah. You truly are a great friend. I have some bad news, though. Oh, no! It says here that Gobbler's Knob in Pennsylvania claims to be the only place with a seasonal predicting groundhog. But I was thinking that we would be very famous if we could find a furry woodchuck ourselves right here on campus. Wouldn't you agree? Maybe they would turn out to be cousins and can give us a hint about this winter season. Getting back to our research talks, we have discovered that groundhogs or woodchucks do not live in Florida. Sadly, no. They prefer cooler parts of the country like New England, the Midwest, and parts of Canada. Ariam, you might not be able to find a groundhog to predict the weather, but we can definitely ask some of our Horizons hawks. Ariam, we might as well quit looking for groundhogs here in the garden, because looks like our hawks say that we have six more weeks of winter to go. Well, okay, but this cold weather can't be over soon enough for me. That's our show for you today, hawks. Enjoy your groundhog day, and keep your fingers crossed for an early spring. Some of you might not know this, but February is National Heart Awareness Month. That's right, Ariam, and it is our heartfelt goal to get the word out to you hawks about how to love your heart. What better place to broadcast this important information than right here at our PE field, where many fabulous coaches compassionately teach us the importance to keep our hearts healthy and strong. I wholeheartedly believe that is true, Ariam. You know, Ariam, Isabel, one of our Hawk News reporters, had a heart-to-heart -heart talk recently with another compassionate person who has important information to give us about our hearts. Well, my heart is set on finding out who that might be, Sarah. Well then, let's give your heart's desire and listen in on what they had to say. I especially enjoyed the part about exercises and how they increase your heartbeat. Sometimes while doing cardio exercises in PE class, my heart beats so fast I can feel it. Cardio, that sounds like a word for word power. Let's go to me. Let's take us to the heart of the word cardio. Thank you, Mia. It literally does your heart good to do cardio exercises, Ariam, and that's a fact. Do you think Stephen could find it in his heart to teach us more facts about our heart? I think so, Ariam. I had no idea that our hearts were into the size of our fists. Speaking of big hearts, one of our young at heart news reporters, Maggie, has a big science is cool experiment to share with us today. They all had their hearts in the right places. Ariam, I wish I could jump rope like that. Well, eat your heart out, Sarah. Maybe someday you will be able to. Here, Sarah, have a heart for Valentine's Day. Aw, thank you, Ariam. I'll keep it close to my heart. Here is my heartfelt Valentine wish for you, too, Ariam. Aw, thank you, but let's not spoil our lunch. Speaking of lunch, get ahead of yourself, Ariam. I think at least four will do. Oh, well, but speaking of four, we have a long four-day weekend coming up. Wait, are you sure, Ariam? No school on Friday and Monday? That's right, Sarah. Cross my heart. Well, for students anyway. Sorry, teachers. Congratulations, Hawks, because today is our day. We're off to a great segment. We're off and away to our fabulous new show we filmed just for you. Hawks, you might be wondering why our Hawk News show might be sounding different today. That's because today is a special day. Yes! Happy birthday, Dr. Seuss. Can you believe that Dr. Seuss didn't give up after being rejected 27 times? I know, that is amazing. 
I guess we can learn a lesson from his perseverance. I'm so glad he never gave up because I love his book so much. I especially love the way he uses words to create new worlds. Sloths are very fascinating creatures. Speaking of fascinating creatures, that reminds me of one of my favorite Dr. Seuss books, If I Ran a Zoo. Oh yes, I love that book too. So, I guess we can be reckless troublemakers and stir some fun up. Well, let's not get carried away. We don't want to misbehave. We should stay safe. That's our show for you today, Hawks. We will leave you with one more quote from Dr. Seuss. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happens. Have a great day, Hawks. Wow, how time flies. We're already in the month of February. You know what that means? It is time to celebrate Black History Month. This is the time where we honor the African American. Well, I don't think a week is too short to truly honor all the amazing accomplishments of all the African American leaders like Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, Ruby Bridges, Harriet Tubman. Wait, Sarah, if you want to list all of those amazing African Americans, our help notion will have to be extended to one whole month. Sarah, can you imagine if people long ago had more compassion for each other, how much better our country would be today? You are so right, Ariam. So, does that mean it's important to understand our country's history so we can better understand why things are the way they are today? That way, we won't repeat our mistakes from the past. Yes, that's why, Hawks, it is important to celebrate Black History Month and learn about tragic events in the past. Erin, you are so unique. So are you, Sarah. The more we embrace each other's differences, the greater our compassion will be for each other. Today, we are traveling to Mexico. That's right, we are traveling to Mexico. Mexico is the 11th most populated country in the world. The colors of the Mexican flag are red, white, and green with the golden eagle. Mexico's national flower is the Dahlia Pinata. One of the colors is pink, but isn't the most common color for a Dahlia Pinata. The eastern and northern side of Mexico has mountains. Speaking of mountains, the highest mountain in Mexico is the Pico de Orizaba. Puebla is the fourth largest city in Mexico. It offers some of the most unique foods and drinks. The next time you think of, an, of going on an exciting adventure, think of Mexico.